I'm Tim Ormsby, State Representative from the 3rd Legislative District in Spokane. Thanks for tuning in to our weekly video update. We finished three weeks of the 2011 legislative session so far, and I've mentioned in previous video updates, the main thing we've done is the early action budget bill, which made cuts to the state budget in order to get us to the end of this biennium up until June 30th, later this year, of making cuts so that we could actually end with a balanced budget by June 30th. Those decisions have been difficult, but they were necessary to put the state on proper financial footing going into the future. Now that we're at this point in the legislative session, most of the work happens in committee. And well, what exactly does that mean? We are actually in a committee room right now. We're in House Hearing Room C. The seat that I'm sitting at currently is the seat that I sit in when I am on the Labor and Workforce Development Committee. And we go through a lot of process in the committee. Everyone in the legislature sits on committees usually three, but sometimes four or even more committees. I happen to sit on three committees, Labor and Workforce Development, as I mentioned. I'm also the Vice Chair of the Capital Budget Committee, and I sit on Ways and Means. The main jobs of the committees and the members of the committee are to go through the process of the bills that get referred to that committee, and they involve an issue jurisdiction. For example, Labor and Workforce Development deals with issues that involve labor and management, collective bargaining, and the workforce part of it is about uh, training and apprenticeship and, and those type of opportunities, uh, and those are the bills that fit within the labor and workforce development jurisdiction. And it's often said that the committee is the eyes, ears, and often the brains of the legislature, because not everyone that sits on that committee is gonna be as familiar with those issues as those of us that do sit on those committees, and it's our responsibility to take back to our other members the information that we gleaned as a result of sitting on those committees. The main function of the committee, aside from being the eyes and ears and often the brains for the rest of the legislature, is to deal with the bills that come before the committee that are in our issue area, and to filter out the ones that are just bad ideas. Also to find out information about good ideas, but they're ideas that aren't quite ready for prime time. Or to find out bills that are good ideas, but that we have to perfect in order for them to move forward, in order for the committee to refer it to the full house for consideration. There are a lot of process that goes on, and sometimes we find out from people sitting right here at the witness table, the the place where the public and, and other folks come to provide testimony, we actually can find out from these folks what some of the perfecting ideas that we might be able to do in order to make uh, a bill better. They also might just come in very strong opposition to the bill. They also might come in full support, but it's where the public interacts with the legislature in a public hearing. It's a very important part of the democratic process and, and one that really engages our citizens in their state government. And this is the vehicle by which folks that can do that. And there are basically three types of committee hearings. There are work sessions where the members of the legislature are exposed to the background of information about, let's say, apprenticeship. Now, there are several members of the legislature that might not be familiar with the concept, and here in the Labor and Workforce Development Committee, folks with a wide range of knowledge and experience in apprenticeship might come and give the committee members an overview in order to give them enough background information in order to be able to make a sound judgment on the bills that they'll be considering about apprenticeship. There are also public hearings where a bill is on the docket for a public hearing. And based on input to the legislature about the contents of the bill, the parts of it they like, the parts of it they don't like, and suggestions about how to better achieve the results that are outlined in the goals of that bill. And the third type of committee interaction is called executive session, which is a little bit different than how we normally think of executive session, say, in local government, where the city council or the county commissioners leave the room and discuss things privately. Executive session in the legislature is when we take official action on moving bills out of committee. And there will be, that's the time that amendments will be introduced and debated. And then there will be a vote by the committee on whether to send that piece of legislation out of committee 
and into the Rules Committee, which then considers whether or not that bill is ready to move to the floor for floor consideration. And then that bill goes to the second reading calendar. And at that point, it's available to be debated on the floor of the House of Representatives for final passage. If it passes, that same arduous process that we went through in the House repeats itself in the Senate. And it's a very difficult process for a bill to survive all of that. And that's why we want as many different ideas as, as can come out of this committee process so that we're making sure that we're doing the best work that we can do on behalf of the folks that we're here to represent. It is a complicated process, but it is one of the things that provides the checks and balances to make sure that the legislature is taking action on items that really do serve the best interest of the public. These seats where I am sitting, this is where the public can come and view House committee proceedings at any time. And even though it's a bit of a complicated process, it is our form of representative government. It isn't always fast, but I wouldn't change it for anything because it does provide the necessary checks and balances to make sure that the legislature is being responsible to the people. We're just about out of time, and I just want to assure folks back in Spokane, and, we're, and you're a great distance away from the activities that are going on over here in Olympia, but as someone that has been sent here to represent your voice and your interests in Olympia, I can assure you that although the process is flawed and there are a lot of things that I would like to do to make it more efficient, there isn't a better system out there that actually provides uh, for the wants and needs of, of our citizens in Washington State. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm Tim Ormsby from the 3rd Legislative District in Spokane. I work for you. I hope to talk with you again soon.